Good morning, I'm Kamsay and welcome to Dragon Track. I'm right now at Goddard Shelter, haven't gotten out of here yet. Heading north is this way, south is that way, and there's an awesome pipe water source there. The privy is down there, and the bear box is over here. The shelter sleeps eight, and there were eight of us here testing that. Uh, there was a dog with us too, and the owner decided to sleep on the floor with the dog rather than uh, in the shelter itself. There is a lot of floor space, so there is room for more if you want to. There is no table here, but there are surfaces that could replace the table, and there is a bench here too. See you down the trail. It's 7.42, I'm heading out of the shelter. It rained a lot yesterday, so there were less footage than it could have been. Don't put trash in toilets, it's extremely difficult to remove, thank you. Long Trail and Appalachian Trail. Kid Gore Shelter is 4.1 miles away, that's not where I'm heading. The shelter after that is like almost 10 miles away a day of hiking uh, before us my hiking partner already left so he should be ahead somewhere he is intending to check out kid gore shelter for his youtube channel we'll catch up with him sooner or later all morning had been these steps some of them are pretty high in some places you can bypass that because the ground itself is less discreet. Since it rained yesterday when I got into camp shelter, despite using rain gear, all my clothes, my socks, my shoes were all wet. I changed into sleep gear to get dry and hung my clothes and socks took the soles out of my shoes all to hopefully dry everything but it's been misty it's been raining during the night nothing was dry when i put it on but before i started hiking all my clothes were dry my socks are still wet Shoes are still wet, but it's almost comfortable. At least my feet aren't cold. There are some errant raindrops, likely rain that has been stuck in the canopy since the last rain, because it doesn't seem to be raining. It doesn't seem to be as humid as it was yesterday. When I asked the others about the weather forecast for today, it was sun all day. Not yet. Glastonbury Fire Tower. I was planning on going up there. I didn't know it was closed. And uh, even if you don't abide by such things, they've removed the stairs. So uh, if you want to get up, you need to do some parkouring or something. I don't suggest it. This is the high point of today. It's all downhill from here, relatively speaking. Straight ahead is a pretty cool looking tree. Or it would have been a cool looking tree if it wasn't for the fact that it's two trees. But that is still a cool looking tree. It looks really nice. One of the things that I dislike is stepping somewhere that appears to be solid, but isn't. And you sink down and your shoe is filled with water. That's why I like rock hopping. It's fairly even. You step from rock to rock and you know it's solid. Sometimes a rock might wobble, but that usually doesn't matter. 
Rock scrambling, on the other hand, when there's a lot of altitude change involved, uh, that can be a lot more tricky. I uh, just ran into... He's from Texas, but his ancestors are Swedish and Norwegian mostly, and a tiny, teeny little bit of Irish. And we spoke a little Swedish. He's been to Sweden several times, done the Stockholm Marathon. He's hiked in Sweden uh, from uh, Trediksröset to uh, Grövlesjön. He's hiked in Norway too. He spoke about the difficulty of getting a visa to stay longer than three months in Scandinavia, which I find a little strange. I didn't think it would be more difficult for a person from the US to stay in Sweden for an extended per period. And yes, the trail is still wet and muddy. This is Vermont after all. Oh, come on, another lake on, on, on the trail. My uh, shoulders have been hurting all day. Uh, can't get uh, the backpack to sit comfortably. Not right now, but I have some neck issues too. Pain in the neck from time to time. Today is not the most positive day to hike either. I stopped at Kid Gore Shelter because it was within view of the trail. Uh, it says point one, but it's the shortest point one I've ever hiked. Uh, and uh, these are the best views of today. And if you look over to the right, there's even water over there trying to hide among the uh, trees and whatnot. My uh, break at the shelter was pretty long, so I was hurrying down the trail. Not more focused on the trail than the places until I saw that. And instantly I looked around and, and saw that blaze and that blaze telling me that the trail was turning. And, and these are the kinds of things that, that people put in the way of the trail or just to indicate that you're not supposed to go here. Uh, and this time I picked up on it, so, so thank you. A hollow log. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.